porn. We can't do a week here without porn. There's just porn news constantly. Uh, big time porn star Jenna Presley, uh, her real name's Brittany Ruiz, uh, which they tell me she's one of the biggest female porn stars around. I'm not quite sure uh, from my own research. Uh, she has left the sex industry and of who's she thanking? Of course, uh, Jesus. Let's take a look. So I got involved with the adult industry when I was in college in Santa Barbara. I began dancing. And um, from that point forward, a couple producers came in and they said that I was beautiful and that I would be great in romance movies. So I went to LA the next day and I shot my very first scene. And um, I felt so loved that day because I was put in hair and makeup, I was told I was beautiful, I was going to be a star. And they sent my pictures over to an adult agency who I was with for about two years. And um, the rest is, is pretty much history, I guess you could say. I don't think I've ever heard porn being referred to as romance movies before. <laughs> I don't know how... Nobody's tried to get you into porn. <laughs> How do you know that? <laughs> Ouch. So uh, sorry. Ow. It just seems like it was a ploy, right? Like you'd be wonderful in romance yeah. movies. Yeah, there's nothing romantic about a gangbang, I assure you of that. <laughs> um, all right, so I don't want to be totally glib about this because she also talks about how getting out of the business got her out of drugs mm -hmm. and all the other bad things that we all know are associated with porn. Um, so not being totally glib, but we're going to be a little glib because it is porn. Um, what, what is it about religion that everyone that gets out of porn, they, it's always because of religion. No one seems to be able to do it just sort of on their own volition or their own... Uh, intellect or I don't think that's true. I think that probably happens all the time. I just don't think it makes we just the don't news. Hear about it? Yeah. I mean, I think that this is a good public interest story. It's fine. I don't care why she did it. I mean, because ultimately, whether it's about um, Jesus or whatever, I really think it comes down to the woman, right? There was like a pastor, there's somebody who's involved with this church mm -hmm. who who focuses and targets um, sex workers, yep. uh, people in the sex industry, and helps them get out of the lifestyle that could be detrimental to them. And I'm not saying that all people in the sex industry need to be saved. I think there are a lot of very kind of um, independent uh, sex workers who take their job very seriously yeah. and they don't get into drugs and alcohol and they don't have any problems outside of that. Um, but there are individuals who do make bad decisions. Yeah. And I mean, there are plenty of people who have made huge amounts of money that are living clean lives that yeah. are married and you know yeah. otherwise okay so this website triple uh, x .com, i went to the site it looks it's a really cool website like they got a good hip web designer and it looks cool and there's a community of people on there um is this like the next step for the church that they're going to really sort of step up this kind of you know feel looks cool kind of stuff to get people away from porn because they're still hung up on porn yeah, I which mean, is why we talk about it so I, much. It's a it's a fine line. I mean, the last thing I want to see is a camp a Christian campaign. You know that that goes against the porn industry. Um, the porn industry definitely has problems. I I personally I'm totally uh, happy for her that she found religion and decided yeah. to get out of the industry because she says that the reason why she got it, into it to begin with was because she didn't feel any love throughout her life and you know the church provided the McDonald's version of of love to her and 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 it works for her. Um, I actually met a porn star once and I, I continue. I like how you said that all the <laughs> like, time. Well no 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 I actually I actually talked her out of the industry. Like I, I, really? I met her and we became friends and she I think would credit me as, as like helping her get out of it because she's a really smart woman and came from a very similar background. Yeah. Uh, I think she had like crazy she had like a master's degree and that was part of the marketing that the porn industry was using. Here's like this really smart woman who is like doing uh -huh. porn. And uh, she was with a really big well known uh, porn company. And it's just sad, you know. Like it's it's a it's sad to see women um, get sucked into it for those kinds of reasons. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, when it's not when it's not an independent decision that they're making, when it's when it's um, because they're down and out, and this right. is a way to make some quick easy cash. But again, I don't want to. But isn't lump that good all. though? I, isn't that good? Like we naturally think that that's bad, but it's like if you know there are strippers that put themselves through college. For sure. If they don't have any moral opposition to it, but right. obviously she felt like her lifestyle was kind of running out of control, and she didn't she wasn't able to to handle the lifestyle that she was living. 
thing anymore. So I think a lot of it kind of comes down to their own personal perception, whether or not they feel like strong and in control of their own lives or whether they feel like they got sucked into a particular industry. But I think that, you know, um, first of all, this whole like triple X church and is this the new, this is not new. Like, was it, didn't Jesus like take Mary Magdalene on? Like, this is not a new concept, right? right? But like, it just kind of like looks cool Like benevolent now. religious people who are like helping the poor and the sex workers and whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is, I, I don't, I don't really understand why this is news. Right. Because I think that it's like, well, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> isn't that like supposed to be in right. your mission as, <laughs> right. as a New Testament Christian? Yeah. But isn't there something a little weird psychologically? They call it Triple X Church. It sounds sort of dirty and porny right there. So it's almost like because there's that's still- that's their initiative. I, no, I get it's the initiative, yeah. but there's still something about it that sounds a little dirty. Like they're still trying to wrangle you in. It does kind of sound little... like they're doing like nun porn it, in exactly. the back. Yeah, <laughs> like in the rectory, yeah. right? <laughs> in the rectory. Right. Yeah, I know. Rectory. <laughs> I think we wrapped it up on Rectory. <laughs> I think that was sort of you, the perfect. You, follow that with. What, you can't follow <laughs> Rectory with much when you're talking <laughs> porn. All right, I want to thank Cara Santa Maria and Max Lugavir, and uh, they're on the Twitter, believe it or not. Their uh, handles are right below you. And, uh, oh, subscribe. There is a button. It's red. You cannot miss it. And if you're colorblind, it's, there's a little gray box. Is, is it gray? If you're colorblind, would you see red as gray? Help me uh, here. Help me here, scientists. There's different kinds of colorblind. Uh, you don't really see it as gray. You just can't tell the difference between red and green. There's a box. <laughs> Just click it. Thanks for watching. We'll do this again next week. <laughs>